Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're back with us. As I promised last time, we're going to keep singing about the cross. Remember, on the Feast of the Elevation of the Cross, the 14th of September, the priest elevated the cross and they put basil and red flowers. And we said we were going to talk about this story. And I know we've, we've talked about it before, but it's worth repeating. Who found the Holy Cross of Christ? Do you remember her name? Her name is Helen. And then who's this guy with her? Who's he? That's Constantine. That's her son. He was the emperor who legalized Christianity. It used to be against the law to be a Christian. And his mother, Helen, uh, at one point she said, we need to go find the true cross. They would build churches in Jerusalem. They did all kinds of things to help the church grow. And the story is really cool. So I'm going to help sing. We're going to sing the song together, which really tells you the story of how she found the cross. Because there were three of them and they were buried and it was a secret. Nobody knew. Well, I shouldn't say nobody knew. Very few people knew where those crosses were hidden, but by God's divine providence, it was revealed and they found it. So if you know this song, we're gonna, I'm gonna sing along with the music today. Please join me in singing, Finding the Cross, where Constantine and Helen found the cross of Christ. Actually, Helen did. But Constantine was her son. He was the emperor. Constantine was an emperor who made Christianity legal. Constantine was an emperor who made Christianity legal. So we can soar safe and high like an eagle. No more underground. No more praying in secret. Come out, come out, let's shout, let's shout, our God is King over everything. Our God is King over everything. Now Constantine, now Constantine had a mother named Helen. She was the kind of mom, was the kind of mom who did more praying than yelling. She said to him, she said to him, Oh my dear son, oh my dear son, Let's build churches. Where? In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. And one more thing. Yes, mom, just name it. Let's find the cross of our dear Christ that we Christians can venerate it and claim it so that we Christians we can venerate it and claim it where could it be who knows the secret this old man did knew where it was hid under the temple temple of Venus under the temple, temple of Venus. Get your hammers. They knocked it down, dug underground, found cross one, two, three. Which one of those could it be? Which one was it? Cross one, two, three. Which one of those could it be? A dead man rose. God's cross was laid on him. And so it goes, everybody knows, we bow before it. Christ cross, we adore it. it we bow before it. Christ cross, we adore it. Lift up your cross. Elevated, what once was hated. We bow before it. Christ cross, we adore it. We bow before it, Christ cross, we adore it. We adore the cross of Christ. We even wear the cross of Christ. If you guys have been in church, you've probably done the part where the priest and everybody bows and they say, before thy cross, we bow down and worship thee, O sovereign master. And if you're not at church because you're staying at home, you can still do that. Get on the floor and bow down. We worship God. 
but we cannot separate him from the cross, that he died on the cross for us to give us eternal life. So there's a really um, beautiful thing in the church that we celebrate the cross, and we even did it in church recently. We talked about taking up your cross and following Christ. But before we continue, I have a little friend I want you to meet. Do you want to meet my friend? Okay, ready? Come on, Charky, get out. They're wanting to see you. <gasps> Say hi, Charky. He's being shy. You guys help him. Say hi to Charky. Hi. Hi, Charky. Hi, guys. Who is that? Look, look, Charky, look. Can you see? Do you see Sophia? Yeah? Do you see Sonia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see big kids too. I see Carmia and Steve. Hi, guys. Hey, Charky. Would you like to help me sing a song about the cross? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know some things about the cross, but you know what I know a lot about? Swords! Yeah, swords like this one during the medieval times, because you're living in a castle, aren't you? Yeah, lots of battles. I love battles. You know, yeah, they did a lot of battling with swords, but did you know the church gives us a weapon too? Yeah, yeah, weapons. Um, well, not that kind of a weapon, Charky. Did you know that the cross is a weapon? Yeah, it's a weapon. It's a weapon? You mean I can hurt people with it? No, Charky, you can't hurt people with the cross. The cross is a weapon of peace. So you can use it in spiritual battle. What is that? Well, spiritual battle is like the battle that goes on in your mind and in your heart, like when you wanna really do something bad or say something mean or disobey your parents. You have to like make the sign of the cross and ask God to help you fight that thought. Get that thought out of your head. Get that word, put that word back up. Don't say that, don't say that, right? Yeah, yeah, the cross is a weapon. So we're gonna sing a song that St. Ephraim the Syrian, he's one of the elders and um, fathers of our church, he wrote about the cross. Will you help me sing it? I got kind of a sore voice today, so I'm gonna need your help today. Can you guys help us sing this song about the cross? There's so many meanings of the cross. It's not just a weapon. St. Ephraim calls it, the, the cross is a staff, like a cane for those who can't walk, for the lame. Isn't that cool? And he calls it bread for the hungry, and fountain for those who are thirsty. So listen carefully to the words of St. Ephraim about the cross. And remember in church, when we heard about Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. Is that easy? No, it's not, but it's worth it. It sure is, Charky. Let's sing this song, it's called The Cross. Wanna hear you guys sing it. The cross, the cross, so many different meanings. The cross is a weapon of peace. The church is our ship and our Lord is our captain. The cross is the rudder that keeps us on the course. The cross, the cross, so many different meanings. The cross is the staff for the lame. Hope for the hopeless, dethronement for the proud, and the consolation of the poor. The cross is the comfort of those who are afflicted. The cross we bow down and adore. Good job, Charky. The cross, the cross, so many different meanings. The cross is the crown for the aged. Bread for the hungry, found for those who thirst. Strength for the humble, the last will come the first. Take up your cross and follow Christ who died on it. Take up your cross and constantly rely on it. Find your comfort in the cross. A constant sign of hope. When our problems overwhelm us, it points to the abundance of his love. When we wonder what path we wish to travel in this life, look to our example from above. The cross is our weapon of peace. Hope for all of those who believe. We thank God for the cross. Good job, Charky, yay! Charky wants to say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody, love you. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming, we'll see you next time.